Welcome back, everybody. Let's talk about the wraps, the dinosaur. Yep. Yeah, shout out to Filipino Heritage Night. I think we're going to be there. Mm -hmm. But let's talk about the Raptors start for and oh, oh my gosh, when this, has that happened? We got a new savior in Kawhi. Why is he playing Kawhi. so well? We believe in Kawhi. <laughs> Kawhi, <laughs> please we stay. Kawhi. <laughs> please, please. All right, let's talk about the Raptors. I mean, I've watched, I think, all four games. Mm. And this has rarely happened. Like, everyone that knows I was a big, I'm, I'm a big Warriors fan. I, I sleep early so I can take a nap so I can wake up at 10.30 to watch their games. That's how big of a Warriors fan mm. and now it's been really hard because every time there's a Raptors game I watch and then I don't have enough time in between and then all of a sudden I watch the uh, Warriors game 10.30 by like halftime or like second half I'm like asleep. That's how good the Raptors has been to watch so yeah. far and it's, this is something I've never, I've been here how long now? 12, 10, 12 years. I've never been this big fan of, a war, uh, uh, of the yeah, Raptors the way they play. And was it surprising I, though? Is it a surprising, like once we got Kawhi, did you think it was a, did you think in your mind like, yeah, we're going to start 4-0? Or was it, a, was it a surprise to you? Uh, for me, 4-0 wasn't, it wasn't really the 4-0 that yeah. was a surprise because they did it last year, right? They started 5-0 mm -hmm. even. Um, the surprising part is like how fast they were able to gel together, this exactly. team, mm -hmm. with Danny Green and Kawhi. You'd think, you know, it, it'll take them some time to to play well and really get to know what each other's habits are, habits are on the court, mm -hmm. but they're playing real, really well. Four and oh, mm -hmm. what more can you ask for? Right? Yeah, and there's some nice sequences too. Like, mm -hmm. and it's start. It's evident that Green and Kawhi are like yeah. tight in terms of the court and, and the senses they have. Like, they bring the smartness to the game as well. I I think they put a certain standard defensively to everyone else in the Raptors team saying, if you guys don't play defensively in terms of intensity yeah. and, and, and the hustle and the hard work that they put both put in, they put a standard in there so that every Raptors player from, from the, the starting five to the bench to the 13th person saying, if I don't bring the same energy and defensive intensity into the game, then I don't, do, I don't deserve to play or to be on the court. That's kind yeah. of what they've done, uh, both of them, just because of the fact that they both play perimeter defense really well and they both play interior defense. Like, like we've seen Kareem and Leonard with all over the place inside blocking shots. <laughs> and you've seen them intercepting like the one that Kawhi, they just is very impressive. I've never seen something like that before. So yeah. with them, it's not the fact that they uh, they came in and gelled fast, but they bring a certain intensity and standard, a championship kind of defensive mm -hmm. standard into into the Raptors, and that's how uh, they they approach every game, and that's how they're gonna expect from everyone else. Mm -hmm. right. What what games I guess when what games were the most standoffish I guess when you were watching the Raps? Like was it the Celtics game? Was it the other games that just happened recently? What game stood out most in your mind? Uh, it's. For me, it's got to be the Celtics game, yeah. the second game of the season. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they, they it was played. a statement game for them. It yeah. was. Yeah. They made a statement to the to yeah. the to Boston, like, right. hey, this is your best. Uh, this is your best team right now in terms of uh, lineup wise, where you have everyone healthy. Let's yeah. see what you can bring. Right. That's true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what I think what I liked the most about it too was that um, Kawhi and 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 Kawhi did not hesitate to take the ball. And end of the game, late game, to yeah. say I'm your best player. I'm the go. -to, I'm your go-to guy. And he didn't kind of. He didn't shy away from it. And, and and he went through and he asked for the ball. Like he made those fadeaway bucket shots off off uh, off a post up. He didn't hesitate from it. He didn't uh, he didn't shy away or lean towards Lowry because Lowry is the leader technically of the team. If you see it, Lowry is the leader, but they all know that Kawhi is their best player. So he didn't shy away from the from the moment. He didn't shy away early, saying that this is not really my team. I just came into it. You no, know, he owned it like he, it's his team, and the, he knew that they needed him on these situations, like uh, when they were close against uh, Boston. Then that's how they able to win because uh, Kawhi was able to take on that double team, to take on that uh, go-to mentality, and that's how they were able to get guys open like Danny Green for that clutch mm -hmm. shot. So. Mm -hmm. Kawhi, <laughs> Kawhi, please stay. Please. <laughs> I mean, we gotta get everybody. I don't know who we gotta get. I mean, they they could hire every one of his family to work here, <laughs> get them all jobs here, so then they can, they have nowhere else to go but here. And I mean, Justin Trudeau, 
get them some jobs here. I mean, <laughs> whatever they need, like if his mom works at a, like you know education facility, get him a job here at, at a school. Oh my god! So that everyone of his family are in Toronto, in Canada. They have, he has nowhere else to go. Come on, Kawhi's family. You know what's legal <laughs> <Yeah>. here. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Everything. You know, we gotta do. I mean, but I think what's gonna stand out the most is. Uh, uh, the fans, the love, I think Kawhi, yeah. There's just love for Kawhi. If he he knows that the nation is like the whole Canada mm. itself shows love and and that kind of attention that uh, that make him feel like he's in a big market, right? Because with San Antonio, it's such a small market that um, I feel like with uh, with Toronto, the difference is you have a whole country on you, the whole Drake, getting everybody that right? that mm. and and. and uh, not just the, the fans, but the city itself. I mean, mm. a lot of people have fallen in love with the city. Tamar has done that. Just because living in the city itself, there's just a lot of things that uh, you can get out of it that's different from living in a place like L.A. Mm. or uh, in San Antonio. Mm -hmm. What matchups um, with the Raptors are you looking for the most throughout the season? I would say the top teams in the West. Mm -hmm. Golden State, Houston. I'm also excited about the Lakers. I don't know where they'll end up yeah. at the end of the season, but I'm excited for that matchup between Kawhi and LeBron. LeBron. That'll be, yeah, that'll be super yeah. exciting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to see the the San Antonio and Lakers match. I mean, the Raptors oh, match. Oh yeah, the I want to see oh, just the, the drama Demar and, 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 and Kawhi going at, it at each other. I want to see like you know Lowry kind of getting uh, physical with Demar, just kind of seeing them interact. Uh, I know there's a lot of history there. There's a lot of friendship and uh, bromance between them. And there's a lot of loyalty in DeMar. I don't know. I think he's going to really come out firing against us. He said he'll drop 50 points on us, right? That's what <laughs> yeah. he said. That's what he said? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see that. Yeah. Especially with that drama with the tribute video too, I heard, mm -hmm. where the tribute video didn't set well with DeMar because the Raptors video said something about like, the other people that left or something. It oh, wasn't, yeah, yeah, they're like, they didn't really respect the people that left Toronto. Mm -hmm. But I guess it's different because the more didn't really yeah, leave. He didn't, no, he he didn't want to leave, but yeah, he didn't want to leave. I guess it's another fuel in the fire for DeMar to come. Yeah. I just want to <laughs> see the matchup. Like, yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, we just want to see that fire in both of them. Like, you know, yeah. Kawhi, the same thing. If you guys think mm -hmm. about it, Kawhi wanted, you know, he, he didn't like the way he was being treated in San Antonio. And I'm pretty sure he's going to get back at them. <laughs> score probably 30 or 40 on them too, right? So one or the other, one. In, I, I think it's going to be a scoring matchup between the two. That's true. Yeah. I kind of want to see them, them face Philly too. Mm -hmm. I want to I wanna see them, I want to see how Kawhi will guard like... Simmons. Simmons yeah. and I don't and know. We have enough bodies, I think, to go against Joel too. So it's just a matter of that Kawhi versus Simmons matchup. Mm -hmm. That's going to be really good to watch. I'm yeah. not worried about him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> Philly, yeah. <laughs> Boston, maybe, yeah. But Philly is a little more, yeah. You're right. All right. So there's games that we're looking forward to. Any, since we're about to end, it went by so quick. Anything you'd like to shout out, Mark? Just quick, guys. We'll see you guys at Filipino Heritage Night. Dallas versus the Raptors. We're going to be there. It's going to be really fun. We hope you guys say hi to us. And Ian, anything you'd like to shout out? SEC, anything? Yeah. Um, make sure you guys check us out. SoutheastCartel.com. Check us out on YouTube. We just dropped a new mu uh, music video. Gusto ko lahat. Yeah, That's Gusto Lahat, man. Gusto my favorite song from the album. I was telling you about that, right? Yeah, so. Mark was religiously playing all the songs <laughs> on his car. But yeah, check, check his group out. Make sure you look at the video. It was pretty dope. And we'll see you at Philippine Heritage Night if you got tickets. But other than that, guys, stay balling. <laughs>